Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you love this podcast, give us a rating and review however you listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. The more positive rating reviews that we get, the more those platforms show this podcast to other people who have never listened to it before. And so that allows us to be able to grow and the message to spread. So if you would give us a rating and review, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Today, we're going to be talking about the consequences of everything that you do in your life. And this is really important because for some reason, we tend to think about the negative consequences of following our dreams. We tend to look at the negative consequences of doing what we need to do in order to create the life that we want. But what's really weird about that is that we don't tend to look at the negative consequences of not following our dreams, the negative consequences of our life staying the same versus making a change. And so when we look at the negative consequences of following the life that we want to, we usually get paralyzed. We take a step back and we're like, ah, it's out of my comfort zone. Maybe this isn't meant for me. And our insecurities will come up and we'll make as many excuses as possible as we possibly can to not take the action that we need to. But what I really wanna focus on today is the negative consequences of you doing what you have been doing and doing the same things over and over and over again and getting the exact same results. Because as we all know, as Einstein said, insanity and what actually insanity is, is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And so if you think that there's this magical world that's in your future, this amazing life, all of this money, this happiness, this joy, that's going to just somehow fall into your lap without you changing anything in your life. That is absolutely insane. It is insanity. And so what we need to do is focus on what the negative consequences of not following our dreams are versus the negative consequences of following our dreams. Because for every single thing that we do or do not do, Every action that we do or do not take, there are positive consequences and there are negative consequences. And so that's what I want to dive into. As far as the the consequences, like I said, we like to focus on the negative consequences of following the life that we want. And we like to focus on the positive consequences of not doing what it is that we want to do or we need to do in order to create the life that we want. And we don't seem to focus on the negative consequences of the life that we don't want, which are way worse. Uh, Just trust me on that one. And so what I want to do is I want to take a step back and I want to give you a phrase and I want you to understand the phrase before we start diving into the consequences. And the phrase is this, when we're saying yes to something, we are automatically saying no to something else. Okay. So when we're saying yes to anything in this world, we're also saying no to something else in this world. There is no if, ands, buts around it. So if you're saying yes to watching Netflix. Now, first off, let me say this. I'm not opposed to Netflix. I have Netflix. I watched Netflix last night. So I'm not opposed to it at the right time, but I am opposed to it if you are not on the path that you need to be on. You know, like I'm opposed to watching Netflix at two o'clock in on a Tuesday when you're trying to build your business to create the life that you want. So, you know, there are consequences to saying yes to Netflix. If you're saying yes to watching Netflix in the middle of the day, you're also saying no to building your business. You are, that's just a fact. You're saying no to creating the wealth that you want for yourself and for your family. You're saying no to the people's lives who are around you that would change by you growing this business. You're saying no to the people's lives who would be impacted from you building that business, from you having a business that would change people's lives. So, you know, if you, if you think to yourself, oh, this is a business I want to create and these are the clients that I want to have and these are the people whose lives I would change by growing this business, by not doing that and by deciding to watch Netflix or, you know, picking your kids up from, from soccer practice instead of having your spouse do it, whatever it is in the middle of the day, or even just doing the laundry in the middle of the day, even though those things probably need to be done, when you're saying yes to doing those things, you're saying no to growing your business in the middle of the day. And so what we tend to focus on is, oh, you know what? I I need to relax. It's been a long day. You know, it's three o'clock. I've been going since earlier this morning. I need a little bit of downtime. And there's never, once again, there's nothing wrong with downtime, but there is something wrong with downtime if it is not at the time it's supposed to be. And that's important. So there's nothing wrong with that, but there are consequences to saying yes to relaxing in the middle of the day. There are consequences to downtime in the middle of the day. There's nothing wrong with it. 
There is no right or wrong in this universe. It's just consequences. When you're saying yes to something, you're also saying no to something else. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but there are consequences to everything that we do and everything that we do not do. So a really important aspect of this is that there's never a moment where you're not doing something, right? So we can think to ourselves, oh yeah, no, I didn't do anything today. And that might seem true to you, but really when you're saying I didn't do anything today, what you're doing is I didn't move, what you're saying is I didn't move the needle in my life the way that maybe I wanted to. And so even if you're like, you know what, today I was going to build out my business development program for my business, but I decided to sit on the couch and read a book instead, you didn't do nothing. There is no way to actually do nothing. There is always action being taken in this world. So even though you didn't build the business, you still sat on the couch, that is doing something, and you still read, that is doing something. Even if you just stare at the ceiling, you're still doing something. You are laying down and staring at the ceiling. That is still something that's being done. So when you say yes to something like sleeping in, you're like, you know what, I was, I'm gonna wake up early in the morning, I'm gonna do my morning routine, all of that stuff, and you decide, it is a decision, you decide to hit the snooze button and sleep in and, as, as well, you said yes to sleeping in, but you also said no to your morning routine. You also said no to the morning yoga that you had planned. You also said no to the morning meditation that you were going to do. You also said no to reading that new book that you just bought last week. You also said no to journaling and getting to know yourself at a deeper level. So you said yes to sleeping in and you see that of like, oh man, I'm, I'm comfortable. It was nice to sleep in. It was so warm this morning. You did say yes to that, but you also said no to a lot of things that you actually really wanted to say yes to. Life is full of consequences. There are always consequences for every single action that we do and do not take in our life. What are the consequences? So when we look at it, like for instance, let's take building a business as an example. We'll, we'll go with for a minute, right? And I'll give you another example. Building a business, right? What are the consequences of me building my business? If I say yes to building my business and no to something else, what are the consequences? Well, some of the positive consequences that could come from that are, you know, creating wealth that maybe you've never had before. Maybe <clears throat> creating generational wealth. Maybe you grew up poor and you're going to create wealth for yourself and your family and your children. Something that would outlast you. So if, when you're saying yes to building your business, you're saying yes to that generational wealth. You're saying yes to doing something that you love. You're saying yes to working for yourself. You're saying yes to having, you know, time freedom. You're saying yes to maybe two years from now, having the freedom to be able to travel for a month. You know, a lot of people who work for somebody else, you only get like two weeks of time off, but maybe you want to go and travel for a month. You want to go over to Europe and you want to travel around a couple different places. Well, you're saying yes to possibly being able to do that later on down the road, aren't you? You're saying yes to doing what you want, when you want, with who you want. Now, are there negative consequences? And negative is kind of in quotation marks. Are there negative consequences to, to growing your business? Sure, 100%. There's hard work. That can feel like a negative consequence when you're putting in the work. Maybe you're getting a little bit less sleep. Maybe the negative, quote unquote, negative consequences, you don't get to sleep in as much anymore. There's dedication that you have to have. There's getting out of your comfort zone. There is Finding our insecurities, our insecurity of somebody rejecting us or someone saying no to us, our insecurities will come to the surface and we have to work through them. I would say one of the biggest personal development journeys you'll ever go on is building a business because all of your BS is going to come to the surface, all of the stuff that's holding you back. So those are the quote unquote negative consequences. But when you look at those negative consequences versus the negative consequences of not building your business, they're way smaller. So what are the, what are the consequences of not building your business. Same old life. Staying in your comfort zone. Life being predictable and the same that it always has been. Maybe working for somebody else. Maybe not feeling fulfilled by doing something that actually truly lights your soul a lot on fire. Like that's that, that thing that burns inside of you. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill that desire that I have inside of myself. Maybe it's not creating the wealth for your family. There's consequences to building the business positive and negative, and there's consequences to not building your business, negative and positive. That's just the way that life is. Life will always have consequences for every action that you do and do not take. Let's say that instead of building a business, because maybe you don't want to build a business, and I don't think everybody should build a business, just to be honest with you, but let's say you're wanting to have a healthy lifestyle. 
Are there positive consequences to creating a healthy lifestyle? Yeah, of course there are. Some of them are off the top of my head, living longer. Maybe you live longer, you have more time with your children, you're healthier, you're more mobile, maybe you can have more energy, you could spend more time with your, maybe when you're 75 years old, you can be able to hang out and play with your grandchildren instead of having to just watch them from the porch. So that is a consequence of it. More mobility. I was watching a video yesterday and it was a, a, someone that was picking up their grandfather on his 88th birthday. And he was coming down the steps and he had railings on the side. And this dude was literally picked himself up. Like if you can imagine, he grabbed both of the railings and then pushed himself up and was swinging his legs back and forth like he was like 12 years old. And he was having fun, but he was 88 years old. I'm sure that he's done things in his life, healthy choices that he made that turned into consequences, which is a consequence of being able to do that. I know people that are not 88 years old that are not as mobile as him and aren't able to move as, as well as he is. So are there quote unquote negative consequences in the moment to being healthier? Yeah, there are. Maybe it's, it's not eating that food that we love, right? Sometimes, like I'm not saying don't enjoy food, but maybe it's like, uh, yeah, maybe it's, maybe, maybe you love chocolate cake. Maybe you're going to have to say no to chocolate cake more often. That can seem like a quote unquote negative consequence. Maybe waking up earlier so you have enough time for your fitness routine. Maybe it's the hard work, the sweat equity that you have to put in, the dedication, the showing up for yourself. All of that is a quote unquote negative, but that negative, it's not as bad as the other negative consequence of not creating your healthy lifestyle, right? What are some of the negative consequences of not creating a healthy lifestyle? Maybe not living as long. Maybe not being able to walk your daughter down the aisle. Maybe not looking as good as you possibly could. Maybe having less energy. We all know that when you work out and you have a healthy lifestyle, you work out, you take care of yourself, you eat healthy, you have less energy, right? Which will permeate into every aspect of your life. It'll permeate into your relationships, it'll permeate into your business, or it'll permeate into your career, your work, whatever it is that you do, because you just have less energy because you haven't been taking care of yourself. I don't know about you, but when I look at the negative consequences of having a healthy lifestyle, the not eating the chocolate cake as much, the waking up, the putting the sweat in, the dedication, the hard work, that negative seems way better than the negative of not living as long, not being able to walk your daughter down the aisle, not playing, playing with your grandchildren, having less energy, the way that's gonna affect your relationship with your spouse and your children and your business and all of that. So when you look at the two of them together, it's like, oh yeah, I'd much rather have the, the quote unquote negative ones right now of not eating a chocolate cake versus not living as long but there are consequences to every decision that we make. And what we like to do is we like to turn a blind eye. And what I really want this episode to be for you is, is an awakening of the actions that you do and do not take. We like to turn a blind eye to the negative consequences of our actions or even our lack, lack of actions. But even if we turn a blind eye to them, they're still there. It's still going to end up working out. I always say that time depending on your actions and your habits that you have, time is either your best friend or your greatest enemy. Because over time, it will always happen. Whatever that thing is that's supposed to happen, the, the not taking care of yourself, time will eventually show to be your worst enemy. If you take care of yourself, time will eventually show to be your best friend. So if we turn a blind eye to those negative consequences, the negative consequences are still there. Whether we look at them or not, it's still happening. Time will reveal everything to us. And it goes back to the phrase that I've said to this podcast many times that people repeat to me all of the time that I hear, which is life is either hard now and easy later, or it's easy now and hard later. And so when you think about it that way, if life is either hard now and easy later, or easy now and hard later, what we tend to do as humans, if we're not paying attention, is we tend to take the easy route. We like to take the, 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 the least like resistance that we could find in life is either hard now and easy later. So if it's, if it's hard now, that would be having the dedication to, to pay attention to your, your body to hard now of not being able to eat that chocolate cake. That's so damn delicious with the ice cream that tastes so freaking good for the four minutes that you're eating it, right? Like that's the hard now easy later means that you're more mobile. You're, you're not confined to a wheelchair. Maybe you're able to play with your children. You're able to live longer. I'd prefer hard now and easy later. Or you can choose easy now, which is sleeping in, eating the food that you want, doing what it is that you want, not taking care of yourself. 
But those consequences of those decisions and those actions are going to catch up with you at some point in time. And so it's either hard now and easy later, or it's easy now and hard later. But the best part about being a human and this crazy fucking experience that we have is that you get to choose what your heart is. Like your heart and in what your life is going to be, you get to choose. You get to choose either the hard now and easy later or the easy now and hard later. We can't act like we're victims of the circumstance. Your actions will always dicta dictate your circumstance in the future. So the circumstances that are currently in front of you right now of what your life can and cannot be are all based on the actions that you've taken in the past. And if you want your circumstances in the future to change, your actions in the present moment need to change. And we have to realize that our actions will create our circumstances, not oh, the government's fault, my parents' fault, my, you know, this is where I grew up, this is the, the socioeconomic situation of my family, the, the color of my skin or my beliefs or any of those types of things. Those can all be part of our story of growing up. But if we're going to create the life that we want, we have to be the person to create that life. And so we have to realize that if we want our circumstances in the future to change, our actions in the present moment need to change in order to change those circumstances. And so everything that you do or do not do, every action that you take or do not take has a certain consequence. And with that consequence, it's either going to be whatever it is that we, whatever path we decide to walk down, the consequences are going to come from that. And we have to realize that our actions are going to create those consequences and those circumstances. But like I said, the best part about being a human is you get to choose what you want. You can either go for hard now and easy later or easy now and hard later consequences are always going to be there. But the best part about it is you get to choose. There's no one else that's going to take the action for you. There's no one else that's going to choose for you. It is completely 100% up to you and you alone. Hopefully, after listening to this podcast, you make the right decision. You take the right action and you do the thing you need to do in order to set yourself up in the future. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in at Rob Dial Jr. R O B D I A L J R. And I'm going to leave the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.